Hey, what's up, guys? Tom is back with another Lincense video. And before I get into the fragrance, I'm going to be discussing today. No, I've not been working out. No, I'm not getting buff, or maybe it's just this angle. But this shirt is a little tight and kind of fucking sucking my gut in right now. That's why you're only seeing the pecs right now and the damn, you know, those, uh, what are these called again? Those, I forgot what those damn things are called, but you're only seeing those right now. You're not seeing the full effects. So, no, it's not like, oh my God, this guy's been working out. He's so damn buff on the screen. No, it's, and maybe it's kind of this way this camera's working right now. I got this live focus thing going on right now. Uh, but again, hope you guys dig this t shirt as well. Lincense. No, there's no merch available just yet. I'm not that famous just yet, you guys. Even though I know you guys are licking your chops to get a shirt like this. Man, I mean, you got to admit, the shirt looks nice, right? Got to thank my sister-in-law for making this shirt. Uh, man, she just been kind of under the weather as of late. Got hit with the COVID, so is my brother. And so they both been kind of um, under the weather as of late, man. So I hope you guys take care of you guys' family, friends, and everything like that, man. This uh, pandemic is not going anywhere just yet. So, man, make sure you guys are out there being safe. Take care of your family and check up on everybody every once in a while, man. All right? But with that being said, the fragrance I got today was a fragrance that I got via trade. Um, I think I probably traded a good fragrance for it as well. I think I actually traded a Savage Parfum for it. And uh, just let me know after I do this video, do you guys think I won this trade or did I lose this trade? Yeah, it's kind of cool though, you know, conversation started right here, man. But the fragrance I'm going to be discussing today, um, the first time I've seen it was from a video uh, from Cuba. Man, that guy is so cool, man. He's so funny in hell. Um, he said the one fragrance that he could not get rid of because his wife, he loved it so much. Now, I'm not sure if she loved it on herself or did she love it on him. Because the fragrance I'm going to be discussing today is a very unisex type fragrance. Even though I would lean a little bit more to the masculine side of things. Now, that's just going based off of the notes. Okay, this thing has all type of notes in here. But before I even get into those notes, let's just start with the fragrance that I'm talking about. Again, Cuba, man. Q to the U to the B to the A. That guy is cool, man. I like him, man. He's got good humor as well, man. But the one we're talking about today is from Serge Luton's Chirgi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, man. I'm probably butchering the shit out of this damn thing. But anyways, this was the fragrance that I got in return for a batch of Sauvage Parfum. Now, the cool thing is like when you, I guess when you see the bottle, like when people are describing it and stuff on their, you know, channels and stuff like that. I haven't seen what it looks like when it first comes in, okay? So when you first get it, it comes in this nice little elegant box. And it kind of comes off looking like a bottle of CK Shock or one of those CKs where with these things, you actually got to screw on the atomizer, okay? Now it looks a little bit more elegant than the CK Shocks, okay? had like this little knob handle on the thing you just had to pull it off and then put the little um uh atomizer in there and screw it on but the bottle itself looks just very elegant very simple i like the size of this bottle too actually i like the size of this 1.7 it's you know perfect size you know if you feel like you have to respray it's gonna fit in your pocket just nice you're not gonna you know even if you put it in your pants pocket it kind of looks like a cell phone so it is a very nice size Serge Lutens. Chirgi, Chirgi, Serge Lutens Chirgi. Not sure if I'm saying that right again, you guys, but here we go. Man, this thing has tobacco leaf, honey, amber, hay, incense, sandalwood, iris, musk, rose. Pretty much every one of those notes that I've just mentioned is like pretty much a very beautiful, sexy kind of note. You think of tobacco, you think of sexy fragrances, you think of date night fragrances, you think that honey, that nice sweetness that you're going to get. Amber is a very nice, sexy uh, note as well. Now, the only one I'm a little concerned of with this one is the hay, because I did have a fragrance that had hay in it. That was the DS Derja Barbers, which completely sucked in my eyes. Now, there's obviously people that like weird notes. I mean, if you ask me, I mean, 
what's one smell that you just love the way it smells for some odd reason, you know, might not be good for you. You know, other people might hate it. But me, man, when I was growing up, I loved the smell of gasoline. I don't know, man. Maybe that's why I'm cooking Bozo right now. But I just love the way the shit smells. Now, I do have Fahrenheit over here. Maybe I'll dive into that a little bit more just because I know that one has that gasoline-y type smell. But that's one smell that I do like that is kind of, you know, a lot of people may not know or remember back in the day we sniffed them fucking markers and shit like that. I know you guys smelled that. The, the smell is kind of funny. Now you think about it, you're probably like, what the hell was I doing? But anyways, hey, incense, sandalwood. Sandalwood is a very nice woody note. Iris, you know, you're going to kind of give it that lipsticky vibe, that lipsticky smell, that musk. Then we got rose. So I'm assuming when they said this is a unisex, maybe they were going with that musk and rose to kind of give it that femininity, femininity, is that a word, I don't know, the feminine side of things, okay, everything else screams to me masculine, uh, but here we go, I've smelt this from the cap already, it smelled good, I had to, I can do an actual spray with this, okay, but let's go spray away, okay, I'm gonna spray right here on the wrist, let's see what that atomizer is like, since we had to screw it in, I mean, for what these things probably are priced, I'm a little disappointed in that atomizer. Seems kind of generic in my eyes. Just a basic old, you know, CK one shock atomizer. I was expecting some nice, you know, pressure sensitive type uh, trigger, but this is not the case. With this one, just shoots out a nice little mist. But really doesn't matter about that. All that matters is the juice, right? Man, on this. This is not an everyday type fragrance, okay? This is cuddling. Maybe you're going out to a nice little dinner and then after that going right back home. You kind of want to have that smell kind of creeping up throughout the night. You kind of want your wifey to smell this. You want to smell it because it's going to put you in that mood for as soon as you're done with that dinner. You go to have dessert in the bed, okay? This is very nice, you guys. This is... It's this one has that uh, dry tobacco like um, in uh, Mancera's red tobacco. However, that honey kind of gives it this sweetness. So it kind of almost it, it it really to me in my eyes helps this tobacco a lot in here. You guys start getting this little incensey type smell as well. Honestly, when I'm when I'm looking for the hay note, I'm not sure what the hell I'm looking for. Like, I'm not fucking Mr. Ed or I'm not fucking Sea Biscuit looking for hay, okay? But there is something that's kind of giving it this woody earthiness, and I'm probably sure that's probably that hay. Man, this stuff is actually, it's a very beautiful fragrance. Now, when it says unisex, I would only go as far to say unisex if maybe you guys are both going to wear it at the same time, okay? This is one of those type of fragrances right here where you want this to be the star of the night, okay? One thing about a lot of these unisex fragrances is that I figure, I feel that most unisex fragrances work better when both of you guys wear it because it's like you don't want something too masculine to go against it. You don't want something too feminine to go against it. So if it's best like if you're going on a date that you guys both wear the unisex fragrance. Now, if you, you know, maybe you just going to meet up someone, then that's one thing, you know. But if you got a unisex fragrance, you got a wife, you got a girlfriend, you guys live together, whatever, both wear that. You know, sometimes these fragrances are just meant to be standalone pieces. And honestly, I think this is one of those occasions where this should be the main star of the whole night as far as fragrance, smell, everything like that. This stuff is so beautiful. This stuff is wool coat. Nice little, you got a nice little scarf, maybe a nice little, you know, uh, hat to match that scarf. You got this just, you just look nice. You got a nice presentable sweater underneath that wool jacket. Your wifey looks good. She's got that nice little trench coat looking thing. But this stuff screams elegance, it screams beauty, it screams sexiness. This thing right here. You guys believe the hype. I'm definitely digging this one a lot. Again, that, that tobacco. It's tobacco leaf. It is very nice, you guys. That honey definitely gives it this little sweetness. Again, if you're not into those 
super dry tobacco fragrances. Like me, for instance, that tobacco in Red Man Sarah was a little bit too much, okay? Even though it had apple in there, it kind of added this little sweetness. I think this honey does something much different than what the apple does to the uh, tobacco in Red Man Sarah. This stuff is very nice. It almost gives it this wet tobacco smell, like almost like a chewing tobacco, if you think of it. Just with that little touch of honey kind of takes away from the, the potency of what tobacco leaves that dry tobacco could be. But man, this stuff is very nice. I'm definitely going to be wearing this in the near future. Probably, again, like I said, a nice date night fragrance if I'm going to, you know, just go maybe one for Valentine's Day. This would definitely be a nice fragrance for both of you guys to wear. If you guys, you know, trying to bring that sexiness back, maybe you guys haven't had the sexiness in a while and you're like, man, we need to do something sexy. We need to go have a nice sexy dinner. We need to go have sexy sex afterwards. This is the one, you guys, okay? This is the one. Man, I believe the hype, you guys. Okay, I'm not trying to hype this one up. This one, to me, is uh, easily 9 out of 10. Easily. I could go 10, but honestly, I don't really give fragrances 10 masterpieces, man. Because the thing is, it's like someone's not going to like it anyways. And, you know, then you might find out later you don't like it. So, 9, 9.5 is kind of where I'm going to stick around. This is where it is at, you guys. Beautiful stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, you know what to do. Hit the likes, hit the comments, and subscribe. Peace out. Yeah.